Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking Kou Sui Ji or Sichuan Saliva Chicken. So let's start cooking. We are going to cook the chicken now. Put some water in the pan, turn on the heat, put in about 2 or 3 stalks of spring onions. Just put them in. A few slices of ginger. Just 3 or 4 slices, approximately 10 to 15 grams. Add in also 1 piece of star anise. Just put it in. Add in 1 teaspoon of salt. Put the lid on and wait for the water to boil. Once the water is boiling, we'll put in the chicken. I'm using boneless chicken thigh over here, 2 pieces of it. Approximately 430 grams for both. Once you put them in, put the cover back on and let them cook for 10 minutes. The chicken has been boiling for 6 minutes. Let's have a look. The chicken is done already. So for boneless chicken thigh, 6 minutes will be good. Remove the chicken from heat and place them in a basin of ice water. This will ensure that your chicken will be succulent and it will not be overcooked now if you are using whole chicken please at least boil for 10 to 12 minutes reserve one third cup of this stock and we will prepare the chili oil in a while in my heated sugar lago gourmet pan i'm going to add in one third cup of oil we will add in 10 pieces of dried chili which i rehydrated and we also add in 1 tablespoon of Sichuan peppercorn. Now we fry this over low heat. We won't be using the dried chili, neither will we be using the Sichuan peppercorn. But we want the flavor to be infused in the oil in order to create this very numbing chili oil. So over low heat, we'll fry this for approximately 8 minutes or so. Or until you can see that the oil is getting red. While we are making the chili oil, I'll show you what other ingredients that we need. In the mixing bowl, add in 4 cloves of garlic chopped, 10 grams of ginger chopped or minced up, 3 pieces of chili. I'm using the bird's eye chili, which is pretty spicy. 3 pieces chopped up. If you don't mind so spicy, you can just reduce to 2 or even 1. Just put this aside. This is almost done. One more step to do. Now we turn off the flame. Add in 1 tablespoon of chili powder. Keep stirring it up and this chili oil is now ready we'll pour this and put into the mixing bowl just use a strainer and strain it up we'll add half a teaspoon of sugar as well as half a teaspoon of salt 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, light soy sauce 1 tablespoon of sesame oil Stir them up We will now add in 1 full stock of Chinese coriander or Chinese parsley Fully chopped up, put them in Stir it up also And we also put in the stock that we reserved just now Finally, 2 teaspoons of black vinegar Now all we have to do is just to cut up the chicken Pour the sauce over and top it up with chopped peanuts and sesame seed. To further enhance the taste of this sauce, we are going to add in 1 tablespoon of Xiang La Jiang or spicy hot sauce. Give it a good stir. And now we will spoon the sauce all over this chicken. This will be so great. Top it up with some chopped peanuts. I've roasted these peanuts up and they are very crispy, so just a handful of this will be fine. And ladies and gentlemen, we've finished cooking our Kou Sui Ji or Sichuan Saliva Chicken. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.
And ladies and gentlemen, we have finished our Kou Sui Ji or Sichuan hot and spicy. Hot and spicy. And ladies and gentlemen, we have finished cooking our Kou Sui Ji or Sichuan hot and. Ah, this is hot and spicy. <laughs>